Hey guys, it's Cece and I am here with my second video of the day to talk about the books that I'm planning to read in May. Yes, I know we are already uh, quite a few days into May. This has been delayed, but I'm still talking about my bookish plans because I, I have a theme for this month as I have had a theme for every month of this year and I am- I insist on talking about it despite the fact that, you know, we're already over a weekend. Sorry. So in May, my goal is to read the shortest books I own. Um, and I'm not just doing this by like arbitrarily picking the shortest books off of my TBR. I have everything on a Goodreads owned to read list and I ordered them by shortest book to longest book and we are going to start at the shortest and see how far I get making it through each consecutively a little bit longer short book. And in the middle of that we're gonna take a break and read a much longer book and that is the book that my patrons chose for me to read so I'll talk about that in a sec but um, I'm not gonna talk about the books that I've already read this month because I have already gotten through a couple of graphic novels and a novella. But now we're into slightly longer books and I'm gonna talk about a few of those. So with that out of the way let's jump in and talk about my May reading plans. So the first book that I'm gonna talk about is going to be the long book on my TBR and this is the book that my patrons picked for me to read. If you don't know over on my Patreon one of the rewards at a particular level is that you get to vote on a book that I'm going to read every single month. So in May instead of um, having my patrons choose a short book which was gonna go against my gradual trying to get through all of my short books in a particular order, I decided I wanted them to choose the book that was going to break all of that up. So they got a list of four like chunky fantasy books and they chose a book for me to read. Um, so I want to thank all of my patrons for voting and in particular I wanted to thank my lovely librarian patrons Babette, Christine, Rebecca, Jenna, Rox at aspiring underscore Rox, and Shadow. Thank you all so so much for being incredible patrons and for helping me pick the books I'm gonna read and the videos I'm gonna do. I appreciate you all so very much. So the book that my patrons chose for me to read is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. I know almost nothing about this book besides the fact that it is a big chunky fantasy. I believe the book is fantasy inspired by the author's Nigerian heritage, which is like another reason I picked it up because that was like the hype. I've wanted to read this for a while. I have felt very out of the loop in terms of YA fantasy recently and this is the one that I'm going with so thank you very much to patrons because this is gonna be fun to get through and I'm excited to get back into some YA fantasy. As far as short books, we're gonna get through this little stack pretty quickly. Um, this is where I am at currently in my short books. So all the short books I own are stacked up on my bedside table by increasing page count. So I just grabbed the top uh, seven. That's a great, totally normal number. I grabbed the top seven off of that stack and we're gonna talk about them pretty speedy. So the book that I'm starting next is Last Night in Nuke by Niviat Corneliuson. This was released in English in America in 2019. It's actually a few years old because it was originally published in Greenland and this is about nightlife in Greenland and it is also incredibly queer. This is also told a lot through like emails and text messages so like you'll have pages like this and I'm super excited to jump into it because it's gonna be gay as hell. Next up we have Mean by Miriam Gerba. This is a memoir by a queer Chicana who is dealing with racism, sexism, homophobia, and a bunch more all while taking like this really biting comedic edge to all of that and I've been super super excited to read this ever since it was sent to me because I want to read more queer nonfiction so this is on the list as is another piece of queer nonfiction we'll get there next we have Mem by Bethany C Morrow this is a novella about um, memory. It sounds like a super weird book set in the Roaring Twenties where a piece of technology has been discovered that allows the elite to have unpleasant memories removed from them, but those memories become like mirror images of the people that they were removed from, and this is about one of those memory people called Mems. I've had this on a shelf for a while. It has an incredibly weird and interesting concept. Hopefully I'll be getting to it soon. Another novella we have is Permafrost. This is by Alistair Reynolds and it is about the scientists come up with a way that if they change some small element in the past it will prevent the future from collapsing the way it has. So it is set in two different time periods in 2080 and in 2028. 
curious about this. And this has already been released. It came out at the end of March. I also have Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is uh, book one of the Southern Reach trilogy. I've wanted to read it ever since I saw the movie and I've been curious about the changes that they made because I know that they made a lot of changes when they were adapting it to screen. Basically, I know that this is about five female scientists who go into an anomaly to try to figure out why the 11 expeditions that came before them all horrifically died in some way or another. I loved the movie. I'm very curious about the book. Second to last, Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Machado. This is a short story collection about the violence that is enacted on women's bodies. It's also supposed to be very genre-bending, like getting into psychological horror, science fiction, fantasy, fabulism. Like, there's, there's a lot going on here, and uh, this title, like, haunts me. Honestly, I think it's a very haunting title and I'm super curious, especially because one of my goals of last year was to read a lot of short story collections and then I didn't do that. So, uh, trying to make a better effort this year to actually read short story collections. I'd like to get to this. And the final book I'm going to talk about in this TBR is I'm Just a Person by Tig Notaro. This is the other queer memoir. Uh, Tig Notaro is like one of my favorite comedians. She's certainly my favorite queer comedian. And this is a memoir about the worst year of her life. Um, I watched the documentary that Netflix did about this year of her life, but I, you know, I love Tig Notaro. I want to hear more. I want to hear more in-depth thoughts, and I want to hear more of Tig's thoughts in her own words in detail. Plus, like I said, I've been after more queer memoirs, more queer nonfiction, and so this is uh, one that I've wanted to read, and it is the next uh, longest book in this list of short books. Now, that is the last one of this stack that I'm going to talk about, despite the fact that I have way more sitting over on my bedside table that I'm definitely never going to get to, but let's just pretend I will. But that is it. Those are all of the books that I'm going to talk about in today's TBR. Have you ever read any of these books? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought of them, if you think I'm going to like them. That's, that's risky. What if you say no? I'm still probably gonna try to read them, but, you know. Let me know either way. I want to hear your thoughts regardless of if you liked it or if you didn't like it. Also, be sure to let me know what your reading plans are for me. I'm curious to hear if other people have themes or if we have any books in common. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!